few weeks back, a dozen of us headed east of the mountains to ride the Mad River Trail System. It's one of my favorites. A ton of goats strapped on cameras. And we set out to complete a scenic loop a few of us had done years prior. Along the way, about everything that could go wrong did, and out of the initial 12 who set out, only about three of us finished ah, still smiling. up my suspension before doing this. Uh, I can already feel it's so much smoother just without oil. <laughs> it looks, like, looks like the same color paint that's on your house. That's supposed to be clear, folks. So you get just a few miles away from the camp and yeah, the trails get a lot smoother. I mean, you don't have to go far. Smoke too soon. Plenty of goats strapped on cameras, including short shorts, the Viking, who uses camera as a brush hawk for most of the day. Oh, is this all fucked up? Oh yeah. The goat whisperer was along for the ride. Everyone's favorite mortician made the trek out. And the dick who took point for most of the day. Fuck dude, my back hurts. Oh, okay, I was gonna fuck with you. Our route would take us up Minnow Ridge to Mad Lake, then to Two Lakes, and down Alder Ridge back to camp. For usual, it didn't work out as planned. Hey, Marty! A lot of people hitting that. Your bikes have yard sailed off right there, I wonder. Oh shit, I didn't see you. You alright? Yeah. a lot of dust today. You can't see anything. Woo! Come on, wind. We need some wind. Whoa, yeah. Really helps to see. Don't kill the Every time I saw water, I'm like, water! I think that's oh. cool. It was also a relief because you could see for about five seconds. Yeah. Right? Everybody's tires are wet for a minute there. I'm trying hard not to juice it. We're at seven and a half already? Yeah. Fuck, we only got, what, 43 more to go. How we doing, Big Mike? That's not, That's big not Mike. Mike. That's not Big Mike. He's coming. Still Kempo your ass. Still Kempo your ass. <laughs> Do you want a break for a minute? Yeah. Just a two-mile. Okay. To get up that mountain quick, it's supposed to be 91 today. Fuck me. And half these knuckleheads barely brought any water. Ow! Coors Light, yes. Water, Ooh. not so much. Damn, that one hurt. That hurt. Didn't go very deep, but. Whoa! Whoa. I guess the road goes over here. Killed it. Whoa! Yeah. Let's go ripping off that mark. Your right foot keeps hitting shit. I've hit like three rocks and a couple of uh, roots wanting to launch me off the side here. Oh. It is so easy to just lose it and fall off one of these. Man, I hope you'll be good.
that was a very good situation. Damn it. Did that just break off? It just broke off. Okay, well in the backpack you go. Well, Morty soldiered on, but we weren't without some bike problems. We waited at this bridge for about 45 minutes, getting eaten alive by mosquitoes while the Goat Whisperer dealt with the stuck flow. What happened? It flooded and I had to roll it down a hill. I changed two different plugs and that didn't work. And then we got towed backwards a little bit to the one hill. For some reason, these two decided to go a different route. Meanwhile, we ran into a little deadfall problem. Uh, that's not a good sign. Dude, we can get around that. We don't want to make it too easy on the trail ferries. Definitely don't remember it taking this long to go up to the lake. Uh, so I don't know which step we somehow took a wrong turn. If you look on the map, there really is no wrong turn, so I'm not sure what happened here. I would assume we just keep going. Well, let's wait. This isn't right. Instead of backtracking, we decided to take the road a mile up to the next trailhead, assuming this was the road I thought it was on the map. So for some dumb reason, Cottontail and the Goat Whisperer decided to go a different route. And they said they'd meet us at where the trails converge. Well, we never found where the trails converge, so... separate guys bad idea last time i came up here i've only been here once and it was covered in snow and it was like my i think my second year ever riding i think i just bought this bike it was a great ride it was scary but uh you'll see why in a minute Real quick, I wanted to give a shout out to our Patreon supporter of the week, Spencer Hardman. That would suck if somebody went that way. What do we got up here? Seven flashbacks right now. Oh shit. Yeah, this is where it gets interesting. This is cool. Woo yeah, almost. I think we crossed two more boulder fields and then we're up top and then it's kind of smooth sailing, I think. Right now, Mike is thinking, what the f guys? <laughs> this was all Steve's idea. I wanted to go to Walker. Last time I rode this route, it was covered in snow. Yeah, doing this in the snow was interesting. Maybe 
good at speaking too soon. It's the boulder field of Devil's Backbone. Come on, clean, clean. Ah, wonder. Yeah, Shorts brought a drone and I subsequently lost the SD card. Sorry about that, guys. And sorry about that, Short Shorts. Oh, no way to throttle here. out they took the wrong trail up top luckily so did we and now we were right on their ass the lights way the down there i'm not gonna make it on gas you think we should just turn around? I thought it was gonna be like up over and like somewhere over here until I saw the ridges. I was like, there's no way. This is where the trails get nice and smooth. Way up here on top. Yeah. Why'd you guys go the other way? He said that they went to the same spot, so then we went up the road, so I followed him. He's low on gas. Yeah, I bet I am too. Down? I can't make it to the lake way to fuck down there. Well, you're gonna have to. We have Morty's bike. We have to drain some fuel. We have yep. to drain some fuel. But you're gonna have to turn around. Because you're not making it back this way. That road doesn't go back? Yeah, but it takes you way the fuck out there, and you gotta come back all the way down. It's like 14 okay. miles. You guys doing the rocks? No, oh, that was fun. Took the drone out, fucking followed him along. Oh, really? Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's badass. I got bit about 100 times though by mosquitoes. Did I mention the mosquitoes? I can't believe we ran into them here. I lost a pint of blood that day. Man, especially since I think we went the wrong way if we were trying to go the short route. was the most adorable crash ever. God, I hate this tire. The first rule of the club is. Yeah, that's right, I'm blaming my front tire. But it really is a dog shit tire. Ultra skinny. I ordered the wrong one. I meant to, <laughs> I meant to order the fat tire, and instead I wound up with this hunk of shit. Cottontail is now running out of gas. It really is. One shit show after the next with us. I'm not gonna deny it. Fuck! What's going on with that thing? 
I think the float is stuck down so it's not getting enough fuel and then it just bogs out. My foot's already sore from kicking it. Your tire's rubbing pretty good on your exhaust. It was. Look, <laughs> my subframe's bent about an inch and a half. Nice. Yeah, I didn't notice it. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have put a spacer in before. The first ride, I rode a brand new FMF to put a hole inside of it. <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty sure your subframe is twisted on your bike. <laughs> Notice how shaky my camera is here. That's because there's 50 mosquitoes gnawing the flesh off my exposed hand. I couldn't even pull the drone out at the lake because his hands were bleeding from mosquito bites <laughs> from pulling it out at the rock slide. It's definitely too dusty to ride in the summer. Too dusty and too many mosquitoes. You gonna be okay, Princess? Uh, I wouldn't ride here again unless it was. No, that's bullshit. I would totally oh, yeah. ride here again. I just Lake Ball. Jesus wouldn't Christ. sit in the back of the pack all day. Just blind. Just blind. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, man. That's a shitty view. What's up, buddy? That's cool. Whoa. Eyes on the trail shorts. No, thank you. I want to get back to my truck because I ran out of water. I drank it all. Whoa. That close. Almost biffed it. Out of water, 93 degrees, and our lungs full of dust. It's safe to say many of us were getting a little bit tired by this point. And when you get tired, Ooh. mistakes happen. Whoa! So hungry. Might be the only goat of the day. Have you ever seen anything so I'll graceful as too. me trying to hop on a dirt bike? I don't know what I hit. I think it was it was this, this rock. Yeah, I moved it. Thank you for defending my I'm honor. Just thinking, oh, no more exposure. That's nice. Dude. God damn it! Just a few hairy switchbacks on the way down. My specialty. A 
eventually we made it down to a road and the gang decided to take it back rather than the second half of Alder Ridge Trail. Although I hate road riding, this turned out to be a really good call. I think something happened to Webb. I think he might have ran out of gas. He was right next to me and then I hear him go, uh-oh, and then I don't see him. Meanwhile, Big Mike ran out of gas too, and Morty fell the plug. And at the end of it all, a four-hour drive in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic all the way home. Was it worth it? Fuck yeah, it was worth it. Beaver fever back. You like hairy beavers.